Welcome back, everybody. Gator here. Uh, sorry about missing getting you guys a video on Monday. Uh, you know, life's crazy working two jobs and everything. Uh, but today I'm going to do something special, uh, something I haven't done before. I've kind of thrown this thought around in my head a few times in the past. Um, I'm a big fan of Watch Mojo, and if you go to their YouTube channel, they have just tons and tons and tons of top 10 lists. And I've always kind of wanted to do my own top 10 list. And the other day, Sheepdog Sherlock in the comments suggested it, so uh, that was kind of like the final straw. I was like, okay, you know what? It's time to give everybody Gators Top 10. Now before we get into the Top 10, I would like to go over a few honorable mentions that didn't make the list for one reason or another. They either jumped the shark at one point, uh, they're only, you know, they only have a season or two out so far. Uh, whatever the reason may be, maybe, you know, uh, I just, I don't know. For the most part, they just, you know, they didn't make it for one reason or another, so here they are. Uh, first off, Fargo. I've only seen the first season, uh, but if it keeps up like that, it definitely should probably push itself in the top ten. Lost, that's an example of a show that jumped the shark. Daredevil slash Jessica Jones, both great series on Netflix. They only have one season, didn't feel like I should put them up there yet. Uh, True Detective season one, not season two, that's garbage. Uh, South Park in general, uh, and Archer. Number ten, Sherlock. Now this is on BBC, uh, a lot of you probably haven't seen this, it is on Netflix, and there's not a ton of episodes, but they're all about an hour and a half long. It's really, really good. If you guys have seen ben, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch or Martin Freeman uh, in The Hobbit or Star Trek or you know the several movies they've done, they're phenomenal actors, and it's really their chemistry that moves this in my top ten. Number nine, now this is in my top ten simply because uh, it's something that's close to me. I watched every episode as it aired. I've watched it a million times uh, since. It's Scrubs. It's a great TV show. It really balances comedy and drama in a way I haven't really seen anyone else do before or since. Uh, maybe MASH back in the day. Uh, but this is a uh, really good show. Top nine. Number eight, American Horror Story. Now this show is just simply badass. It's awesome. It's great storytelling. Um, you know, every season is its own story. They do use the same actors every season for the most part, um, but it's completely different story, completely different characters and everything. It's really, really good. Jessica Lange is absolutely amazing. Now, I haven't seen the newest season. It doesn't have Jessica Lange. It has Lady Gaga, so hopefully that doesn't tear this down any. Uh, but yes, American Horror Story, check it out. Amazing. Uh, number seven, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. This is one of the best sitcoms of all time. Uh, it's the highest sitcom on the list that I have here. It's so good. You gotta check it out. The whole group's hilarious. I thought when they added Danny DeVito it would go downhill. It actually takes a step up. I mean, this is a role Danny DeVito was born for. This is amazing. Best thing he's done since Twins. But anyways, check it out. Awesome. Coming in at number six, Walking Dead. Great show. Uh, I'll admit, the second season sucks. I mean, it's pr pretty shitty. They're stuck on a farm the whole time. It's really boring. Uh, it's probably the only reason Walking Dead's at six and not in my top three is because of season two. I mean, there's been a few episodes throughout the other seasons that were boring, but every show has that. I don't care what you say. Um, but it's, it's such a great show. Great drama, uh, great action, you know, zombies. Uh, it's just really, really good. I love it. I also like Fear the Walking Dead. It's not up here. It's only had one season, but Walking Dead's number six. Now, number five, here's a show that did jump the shark at one point, uh, but it, there were so many great seasons of the show before it happened that it definitely deserves to be number five, and that's Dexter. Uh, season three being its high point, uh, it's so good. They bring in John Lithgow uh, to play a character called the Trinity Killer, and it is just, it may be the best season of any show ever. I wouldn't argue anyone for saying that, because it is just, it's phenomenal. It was at its peak, great finale. It left you on the edge of your seat, gave you something you didn't see coming. Really, really good. Now coming here at number four, I might get some flack for this, but I don't care. I know there's only been 20 episodes of it, only two seasons or whatever, but Rick and Morty. I mean, come on, anyone who has seen this will probably agree with me. It's probably just people who haven't seen it that would argue. But Rick and Morty is the best animated TV show of all time, hands down, as of now. Um, if it were to never make another episode, it would go down that way. I'm curious to see if they're able to keep up with the the level that they're at. It's so good. Every episode's amazing. You gotta check it out. You gotta check out Rick and Morty if you haven't seen it yet. We need a huge fan base for this show, and uh, that way we can keep it going for years. We had to wait almost two years between season one and season two, which was 
absolutely insane. So maybe a bigger fan base will force them to move it up quicker. Not that I want their stuff to be worse because they're rushing it, but I think two years is more than enough time. So go watch Rick and Morty. Phenomenal. Both characters, amazing. Check it out. Number three, House of Cards. Now this is a Netflix original starring Kevin Spacey and Robin Wright, who both are absolutely phenomenal in this show. You can't have one without the other. I mean, this is uh, peanut butter and jelly uh, on this show. Obviously, it follows uh, Kevin Spacey more closely than it does Robin Wright. Robin Wright, though, steals every scene she's in. She just, she's so amazing. Uh, they're both amazing. I mean, Kevin Spacey, this, uh, again, both these, both these people were born for these roles. You guys gotta watch House of Cards if you haven't seen it. I know you're thinking, oh, this is just a political drama. Which it is, but there is so much more happening. You have to watch it. Give it two, three episodes. If you're not into it, then you're either too young or, you know, you're just not that bright up top. I mean, that's coming in at number three on my list, which if you know me, that's high praise because I watch a lot of television shows. So to be number three on my all-time favorite TV show list, that's impressive. Number two. Number two goes to one of the shows that I'm sure you guys, as I've been going through this list in your head's going, when's he going to say it? When's he going to say it? When's he going to say it? Well, here you go. Breaking Bad. Now, this is a show, they just did it right. They knew when to end it. They, from beginning to end, perfection. Just killed it. Just killed it the whole entire time. Loved it. Uh, you got Brian Cranston in it. Uh, you guys know him from Malcolm in the Middle. And what a role for him. What an amazing job he did being Walter White. He is Walter White. Hell, I named my cat after him. Uh, so, <laughs> I mean, it's just amazing. You got to check it out. It's, you know, I'm sure you guys already know what it's about. Guy uh, with cancer decides to start selling meth. Uh, he makes the highest grade meth because he's a scientist. And he's just trying to make some money for his family. Uh, when it all kind of goes to his head, everything goes awry. So check out Breaking Bad. Phenomenal show. Amazing, 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 amazing. Now this list was very difficult for me to put together. Uh, all them shows that I mentioned in the beginning that were honorable mentions, I was putting them in and out, you know, and then I was pulling them out and I was finding reasons. I, ha I had to eliminate some. It was very, very hard. Uh, but the one show that right off the rip I knew would be number one, I knew it would stay number one throughout the entire process, and it's not even close to number two. I mean, in my opinion, this is the greatest television show of all time, and I don't see it ever being matched. Uh, number one is Game of Thrones. And I'm sorry if you disagree. I said this before in another video, but if you disagree with me, it's simply because you're wrong. Game of Thrones, cinematography amazing, casting amazing, script amazing, everything, everything about it is just amazing. It's so great. I mean, when there's Game of Thrones on, your heart gets pumping. The second that episode comes on, you're like, what the is about to happen. I'm about to go for the ride of a lifetime and I can't wait to see it. I mean this show is so fucking good you gotta see it. If you, if you haven't seen Game of Thrones yet, first off, get out from under the rock that you're under. Uh, you gotta start living your life a little bit buddy. Uh, I, you know you might be saying, oh I'm out there and I'm skydiving and I'm climbing Kilimanjaro or whatever. The, uh, exercises. I'm gonna tell you, it's there's probably like one. And it's like walking to the fridge. But anyways, whatever you guys want, put it below. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Go to my Facebook. Go to my Twitter. Uh, that's about all I really do anymore. Uh, Vine's dead. Sorry. 